Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up firewalls with Flutter seamlessly with Flutterfire CLI with minimal manual actions. That's the Flutterfire CLI installation guide. It has a link here to forward to another page, even though the contents for this page are still valid. That's the new page. You need to have Flutter SDK installed on your machine. We have to go to Firebase console and create a new project. Here on Firebase console, click on create a new project. Enter the name of the project, demo Firebase setup. Click on continue, disable Google Analytics for this project and create a project. Once the Firebase project is ready, click on continue. That's the dashboard of the Firebase project. On the left hand side, all products, we click on Cloud Firestore to enable Cloud Firestore for this project. Click on Create Database and I will choose Europe, Next and in Test Mode, Create. Now I'm only supporting Cloud Firestore on this project. If you want to support other Firebase services, you just go to All Products and you can enable Authentication, Storage for Firebase Storage and many others. Now go to VS Code, that's a new Flutter project, the basic startup project and on the terminal, we are going to log in with Firebase to connect with our command line interface with our Firebase and be able to set up automatically. We type Firebase login and it will land on this page when you select your Google account and then you click continue to authenticate with Firebase. Allow and a successful login now installing Flutterfire CLI so that we can uh, set up the Firebase uh, project. We copy the command on VS Code type the command and we install the package. Now to configure Firebase to automatically download the configuration JSON files for Google and iOS, we type Flutter Fire configure, hit enter, and it will fetch available projects. I will choose demo Firebase setup project that we just created, hit enter, and we want the support for Android and iOS. Hit enter, and we need to provide the Android application ID. We go to source, build Gradle, and Android namespace. This is the application ID, copy. We paste it here, we hit enter, and Firebase Flutterfire CLI is configuring all the setup for us automatically. If we navigate to Android folder, we see here the Google service is downloaded by the Flutterfire CLI. And on iOS folder, under iOS runner, we see Google services info playlist downloaded by the CLI. We add the package Firebase core. We need at least this package to connect to Firebase services and one of the services. In this case, I will run Flutter Pub add Cloud Firestore to add the Cloud Firestore uh, APIs to our Flutter project. Now we need to add the default Firebase options created the Flutter Fire uh, CLI. We copy this code, await Firebase initialize app. On the main.dat file, on the main function, before running the app, we paste the Firebase initialize app is an async. We transform the main as an async and we import the libraries and we import the default configuration. And after adding the Firebase initialize app, we need to add widget flutter binding ensure initialize the flutter fire. CLI generated the Firebase option dart file that contains all the configuration to connect in this case to Android app and iOS app on Firebase. After running the application, we see here for Android it runs well, but for iOS you will have an issue because the application deployment target needs to be at least 13. Open your Flutter Firebase setup Xcode project and the minimum deployment here is set to 13.0. Then we go to iOS folder and we run pod repo update. The application runs on both iOS and Android. 